What's up guys and welcome to another episode of Cheat Meals. Me and Kim only get one cheat meal a week and we don't want to waste it on crappy calories. So we're going to be looking for some of the finest restaurants out there and let you know if it's worth the cheat. Tonight we're going to take in the eclectic cuisine and the casual atmosphere of Cafe Rule. Stay tuned. Cafe Rule is located at 242 11th Avenue Northeast in Hickory, North Carolina. They are open for in-person dining and takeout Monday through Thursday, 5 p.m. to 9 p.m., Friday and Saturday from 5 p.m. to 10 p.m., and Sunday from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. While they do accept walk-in diners, it's strongly recommended that you make reservations in advance as they fill up quickly. Reservations can be made by visiting their website, and we've added that link in the description below. Cafe Rule does cater to families and to large groups, but we really feel this is more of the type of place you visit when you're looking for a more intimate setting for couples and date night. As you can see, this is a beautiful restaurant that offers a full service bar and an in-depth wine cellar. They have indoor and outdoor seating as well as a climate controlled patio seating that is quite romantic. I think we would have enjoyed the patio seating, but we made reservations last minute and it was the weekend before Valentine's Day, so we were thankful for the table. At Cafe Rule, you can choose from several adult beverages, including bottled and draft beer, signature cocktails or mocktails, champagne, and quality wines. I chose one of their signature cocktails called the Chopper. It's made with vodka, cucumber, lime, mint, and simple syrup. It tastes like summer in a glass, refreshing, tart, and sweet, and it immediately calls you back in to sip some more. It was delicious. The dinner menu includes appetizers, wood-fired grain pizzas, soups and salads, entrees from their wood fire grill, and their exclusive Rule House specials. To get us started, we chose the house-made yeast rolls as an appetizer. It's served piping hot, still in its baking dish, with house-whipped butter, and pimento cheese. And now for dinner. I decided to try one of the Rule House specials and a dish so many others have talked about, the fried chicken and waffles. It's half a fried chicken with sweet potato cream, waffle, and chipotle syrup. Jeremy chose the eight ounce Black Angus hanger steak with foamy butter, mashed potatoes, and mac and cheese. All right, babe. Did you just spill your syrup? I did. All right, so it is bone-in chicken. So I'm gonna have to kind of dig into that. If you look on the menu, it says half and whole, so that should have tipped you off, baby. I didn't pay attention, apparently. <laughs> That's okay. And there's some sort of, like, cheesy sauce. You sure it's cheese? No, I'm not. That was the biggest bite ever, babe. Really? Oh my god. <laughs> Is it good? <laughs> I've never seen her face like that, guys. It is so good. <laughs> oh my god. So there's already some syrup over the, the chicken. And I'm not real sure what this cheese stuff is. I guess just a red bitter. Oh, I do know it's sweet potato mousse. I do remember that now. It's a sweet potato sweet mousse. Sweet potato mousse. Oh yeah. Like a whipped sweet potato mousse. It's so good. And the waffle is so fluffy. Good. All right. All right. All right, babe. So the hanger with foamy butter. Look at this. It is like liquefied butter here, guys. Um, what's great is you don't really have to cut your steak. It's already kind of cut for you. Cooked beautifully. Perfect. Nice. And I gotta try the foamy butter. Are you going to need 
take a breath on that one. Yeah. <laughs> so, the foamy butter is amazing. It's very, very salty. Um, the cut of the meat is perfect. It has a crust, so you get a little bit of crunch. It's beautiful. Let's try the potatoes with some foamy butter. More foamy butter. That foamy butter is where it's at. Yeah. The foamy butter is... Yeah, it's salty. Yeah. So, so what about the mac? Um, oh my god. What? That's perfect. Best meal ever. Oh my god. So now, I'm a sucker for chocolate dipped strawberries, so I could not pass up the rare opportunity to sample a few of them, and Jeremy jumped all over the chance to try out his favorite dessert, a cookie skillet. So this was a s'more. I feel like Everything I've eaten today is the best thing ever of that thing. The crust on this cookie is so crunchy on the top, but then so soft inside. I really feel like it's the best skillet cookie that I've ever had. You gotta try it. It's ridiculous. so hot and the ice cream is so cold it tastes like pure sugar <laughs> what you gotta get more cookie get more I did, crust but that's what i'm saying like you can taste all the sugar in it like it is <laughs> all right that's a it's way too big of a bite this cookie is supposed to go home with me really good. Can I have it back? All right. After dinner, we got to take a tour of the chef's table, which can be reserved for private parties up to 12. So, um, yes, so you get the full table. Um, like I said, can sit up to 12. I think the most that we've had in here is 14. Um, there is a camera that goes into the kitchen that you get to see the chefs cooking your food. Um, also, you have a private bathroom, um, but of course this curtain will be down during service. Um, but yeah, so. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, the meal is over, and I don't know if you can see my face, but I'm pretty damn happy. Um, I've got to say, I eat out a lot. I mean, a lot. And I think this is easily one of the best meals that I've ever had. Um, it was 100%, 110% worth the cheat. And the price that you pay is not that high for what you feel like you're getting. So for me, babe, it was worth the cheat. Absolutely. I completely agree. The cuisine is definitely eclectic and definitely delicious. The service was impeccable. The manager came around and spoke to us um, and just welcomed us. And our waitress was amazing. The food came out perfectly. Um, hands down, every bit worth the cheat. I want to add one more thing, guys. <laughs> I eat cookie skillets for a dessert <laughs> at every restaurant from Applebee's to you name it. Anybody that's got a cookie skillet, that's what I'm getting. And this was the best cookie skillet I've ever had. It had caramel ice cream. Yeah, caramel ice caramel cream. And what I found cream. out after the meal was over and I was complimenting the chef was that they make that ice cream on, on the premise. It's okay. made 15 feet away, and it's a caramel ice cream with graham cracker cookie and chocolate chips. It was epic. This is, epic. so far, the best meal I've ever had in North Carolina, easily. Excellent. All right, guys. 
that was our cheat meal episode for Cafe Rule. If you're in the area, you've got to check it out. It's unreal. Great prices. Um, let us know if you've eaten there and what you got because that that, that chicken, that chicken and waffles you got, I'm, I'm kind of wishing I'd have got that too. It's pretty impressive. Pretty impressive. See you next time, guys. Bye, guys. We gave Cafe Rule five stars. For extremely helpful staff, it was very clean, a lovely atmosphere, and delicious food that was very well presented. Be sure to subscribe to the channel so that you can catch our next adventure.